All right, welcome to another round of SOL review, and here we have exponents. So I'm going to show you first how to work a problem out. I'm not going to work them all out, but like number one is very similar to number two. Um, so I'm going to work out some problems, and then I'll show you also how to do it, how to check your work uh, with Desmos. Or if you get into a bind and you just don't know what you're doing, well, we have Desmos to do it. All right, so this is going to look at like 2 to the first power, x to the second, and y to the third. And that's all being raised to the fourth power. Anytime time you have a power at exponent raised to another exponent, really what you're doing is you are multiplying those exponents. So you're distributing this 4 in, x to the 2 times 4, and y to the 3 times 4. So 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 4 is 12. 2 to the 4th, that means 2 times 2, times 2, times 2, which is 16. And there we go, we have our answer. Now you're like, well, what, Mr. Johnson, what if I get to the SOL and I just could not remember the, that rule? Well, here's how I'd work this problem out. To check, or to check to make sure we got this right, I'm going to type in the original problem. But I'm not just going to type it in with the X. I'm actually going to switch the X's to A and the Y to B. So when we put these in, we have 2 instead of X, I'm going to put A raised to the second power, and then B raised to the third, and then that will be, oh, make sure the parentheses are in the right spot, and that is going to be raised to the fourth power. And now I'm going to slide do the sliders. Make sure the sliders are not anything um, 0 or 1. Make sure that whatever numbers you choose, they're different because A and B have to be a different number. They're different letters, different variables. Um, so if I have this, I have 2.17. Oh my gosh, this is scientific notation. So it's 2.176 times 10 to the ninth. 2.176. 2. Point times 10 to the ninth. That we need to look at all these answer choices and one of them is going to work out. So I'll do the first one just to have it there. Um, so answer choice A is, remember your X is going to be changed to an A so then we can use the sliders. B to the 12th power. And that is not 2.176, or 2.177, I should have had, times 10 to the 9th. If we do D, 16x to the 8th, Y, oh no, not X. You should be yelling at me. A to the 8th, and B, uh oh, we got to get that out of there. Don't do that on b to the 12th and there we go it lines up so it is d for an answer it's a good way to check it great way to check your work all right so number two is very similar you can work that out like that just make sure you're changing your x's and y's to like a's and b's and then it'll work all of your x's and y's would have to be changed to a and b and use the slider so A is going to be, choose a number, 2. B is going to be 3. Make sure they're different. You can choose any number you want. All right, so for number 3, we need to figure out which is the equivalent, and there's no answer choices, so we do have to do some work here. So X to the 4th means, so in the numerator here, X to the 4th, that means there are 4 X's multiplied together. Y to the 3rd means there are 3 Y's multiplied together. So that's the numerator all multiplied, like expanded out. X to the third in the denominator is three multiplied, three X's multiplied. X to the fourth is four Y's multiplied. Now this is the fun part. Is anything in the numerator and denominator that is factored, like these are all factors, they're all multiplication. Anything about multiplication, anything in the numerator and denominator, those can simplify out. 
And what is left? I have one x in the numerator, one in the and one y in the denominator. If you look at the actual math, you take the exponents and subtract them, put the answer where the biggest exponent was. So four minus three is one. The y is y to the fourth and y to the third, so it's four minus three is one, but the four was in the denominator. X to the first is x, y to the first is y. If you want to check this in your, to make sure it's right, how I would do this in Desmos, so we're just checking our work here. How we do this in Desmos is I have x to the fourth, y to the third. Oh my goodness, long day, I'm getting this wrong. Oh, we don't want x's either. Oh my goodness, a to the fourth. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I should just start over. B, make sure you change them to B, raised to the, maybe I'll stop making mistakes here. So as long as we catch it, we're good. Mistakes are fine. We just gotta check and make, make sure we change them. B to the fourth. Get your sliders, change your A and B to something else. It does not matter. You can have decimals even. If you're too fit, I can't even get it. To, oh, oh, whatever. I'm going to change it to 2. And B, I'm going to change to 3. So it is 0.6 repeating. If you want to hit the fraction thing, it's 2 thirds. So this will be 2 thirds. And what happens if we just do the answer? A divided by B. And that's still two-thirds, too. So, okay, so there's our answer. So we know we got it right. So that's a great way to check your work to substitute numbers in. So you make sure your X's are one letter and your Y's are another. All right. So I think all the other problems are very similar, all the way leading up to number seven. So let's take a look at number seven. Here we have scientific notation. And I'm not sure if you've ever seen this. So... All you gotta do, just gotta put it in the calculator. Here's the actual way of doing it. Maybe I'll do that first. We have 2.3 and 3.6. If you take and multiply those, 2.3 times 3.6. And then we have this times, and we have like bases. The 10 is a like base, and the 10 here. When you have like bases with multiplication, you add exponents, so it's really three plus three. The threes are gonna get added. So it's 2.3 times 3.6. So let me get rid of this. 2.3 times 3.6. That's 8.28. That's 8. This right here equals 8.28 times, oh my goodness, 10. I forgot the 10. 10, 3 plus 3 is 6. Well, there's your answer. But you're like, man, what if I don't remember that? The like bases add the exponents, multiply the coefficients. Here's what I'd do. Let's put it in the Desmos and see what it does. I'm not 100% sure this is actually going to work. So we'll see. It's always worth a shot. Times 10 raised to the third power. And then we're going to multiply by that by 3.6 times 10 to the third. Okay, so that's 828000. All right, so that's 8,280,000. Now if I type in answer choice A, 8.29 times 10 to the ninth, and I don't think there's an option to actually change that. Let's see, I'm hoping B will work. 8.28 times 10 raised to the sixth. And there you go, that lines up. Otherwise, you take the decimal place that's at the zero, so eight, two, eight. So it looks like this, the decimal is here after everything. And you move it to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 8.28 times 10 to the sixth power. The exponent is all about what you move. Move into the left, it's gonna be positive. Move into the right, negative. 
All right, let's take a look at some more problems. Uh, simplifying radicals. Actually, this will be it for this video. So you should be able to work out all the other problems in, De in Desmos. Thanks for watching.